Today we are going to learn to do a news ticker in LumaFusion. Thanks to Romero Russell for his idea down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the Peppy Techie. Hit the bell so you'll get notified. And let's get to it. And welcome to another video by the Peppy Techie. To make a news ticker, we're going to start with the main title. And I'm going to make this, we'll just start with it about 24 seconds long somewhere like that okay that's close enough we're going to cut it later we'll go to edit and we'll delete the text and bring in a plus and hit shape and we're going to make it so it's wide enough for our text but not too much to take up the video that looks good i'm going to change it to red so it looks like a special announcement when you get something you really like, you want to make sure you go to the plus and save that. I would save that as. And then you hit this little plus, save the preset, the plus next to the star. Then you will have your red bottom line, which I have a couple of them here. One's thicker than the other. I'll go with the thin one. I also have a white one. I've saved from before. So if you're working with a ticker and you want different things, you've got all these saved. So we're just going to go with the small red line we've created. Now my next thing, let's start at the very beginning. I'm going to go to plus overlay title, and I'm going to make this exactly six seconds long. Okay. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to click on my text and I'm going to type what I want it to say. In this case, it's going to be all capitals. I'm going to say done and I'm going to bring my size down to about 52 or so. And I want to bring it down right down here in the center for right now because when you're in the title, you want it to fit in there perfectly. All right, make sure you roll back to the very beginning. Hit frame and fit. Now you are going to use the X and Y's and move it off screen at the very beginning of your keyframe. You want it right at the edge. Hit your size and fit. Then you're going to hit this button right here, which will take you to the very end, which is six seconds. You're going to use the X position now to roll this so it stays on the same line to the very end. And now that will take the true six seconds to run. We're going to hit the back button and you'll see. Perfect. Now, it's so easy from here on out. We're going to clone this, go to edit, type what you want to say next. And we're going to come here and type. Okay, that's my special announcement today. I wanna to make sure I'm at the very beginning. I'm gonna hit frame and fit. I'm gonna bring it all the way off right here. I'm going to go to the very end, make sure it rolls all the way off, hit my frame and fit. It automatically created the frame and fit, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll go back to the beginning and watch it roll. Now, we can do it two ways. This is up to you. This is a personal preference. You can have it just run. There's your special announcement. And then your next thing comes. However, I think it looks better if you do the following. Move this up. Special announcement. And I want this to come in at about the three second mark. So now when I play it back. it starts to come in right like a ticker. So now I'm going to come to this one. I can do either one. I'm just going to clone this one. I always like to type it first. 
I'll say done. Now I'm going to come back to edit. Make sure everything's correct. Go to frame and fit. Now because you used frame and fit, it will work. However, sometimes this, the words can be smaller or bigger, as in longer or shorter, and you want to make sure this is correct. So we're going to go to this, hit the end, and use your X to bring it so it's right there at the end. I'm going to come back, and now I'm going to move this down. So this starts and the next one begins. And if you want it to start a little closer or sooner, you just move it closer. And then it'll look be closer. And you can continue doing that for a very long time. Okay, so there it is how you do it. I'm going to come to the very end here. And I'm going to slice this and get rid of this bottom. Now to put it on to another video, you're going to come up here to your door with an arrow and save your movie into Photos app. Now what you're going to do is come to your management, create a new video, go to your camera roll, get your video you just created. It's going to be there. And I'm going to go get one of my slow motion videos. So I apologize. It has to be your video is on the bottom. And we're going to basically chroma key out the black. So we're going to say edit. Go to color and effects. And we'll do dark key because it knows it's black. It has just taken it out. And now there's our video. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.